Do you enjoy the idea of taking your favorite characters from comic books, anime, games, manga, and bringing them together, joining them in harmony to create something beautiful and interesting in a gaming situation? Well, if you do, then you've come to the right place, my friend. Welcome to The Cross Zone. Hello all you wonderful people and welcome to episode number 8 of The Cross Zone, The Justice Avengers. Now this is something I had been thinking about for a long time. I had wrote an article about how this would be a good idea way back when, but I'm going to lay it out for you guys now here because this is something I would really like to see happen and this is one of those things that could become a gaming phenomenon if it was actually done. But let me move forward and tell you more about my thoughts on how a game that includes the biggest hero team in DC Comics and the biggest hero team in Marvel Comics. Um, firstly, the game style would mimic that of the old X-Men Legends and Marvel Ultimate Alliance games. So you'd have a top-down view that's kind of, I think, that, I think that's called an isometric view. I think it's called an isometric view. Where you're looking, where you're basically looking at the game at an angle, and your your characters are moving around in eight multiple different directions, but you're looking at it at looking at the areas that you see in an angle, like a, in a specific angle. I think that is an isometric view. I don't know for sure, so if I'm wrong, I'm wrong on that. But I, I think that's what it's called. But um, you're looking down. You have a squad of four characters that you are playing with. And you're playing with your heroes through various different environments to obviously save people and to defeat villains. But, I mean, yeah, that is, they're superheroes. That's, that's their job. Um, there'd also be elements for missions from, and people probably get mad at me because this is a Facebook game, but from Avengers Alliance where you have multiple locations that you can visit that have missions that you choose from which I think would be a good element for something like this it, it would be a nice way to break up well not necessarily break up but it'd be a nice way to understand it'd, like it'd be a nice way to have the game set up you can see what you're getting into before you do it basically um, it'd be 10 characters from Marvel and DC Comics alike for each side at the start with more to be unlocked as the game progresses. Now, I'm not going to necessarily talk about every character you'd possibly unlock, but I mean, come on now, you can probably think of quite a few, just like I can, but that would make this extremely long, which is why I didn't do it. <laughs> so, starting heroes for DC Comics would be Batman, Superman, Aquaman, Flash, Wonder Woman, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, it doesn't matter which one, Blue Beetle, Static Shock, and Martian Manhunter. Now, the starting heroes for Marvel Comics would be Spider-Man in his Iron Spider costume specifically, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hawkeye, The Hulk, Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, Quicksilver, and Black Panther. Now, each character will level up individually to gain new attacks as well as special pairings will get level ups while they're working together. For example, Green Arrow and Hawkeye can level up together to do special paired attacks when they're both in the forming unit together. There will obviously be an upgradable there will obviously be upgradable equipment for all of the characters and stat boosting items that can be used outside of leveling up. Um, this game would be for player local co-op as well as online co-op. Uh, this would allow for a mixing of local and online play together as in having three players on one platform and one player being on a completely other platform and they could all play together in the same session and so on and so forth as you can mix up the combinations. Um, as, long as, it's a comb as long as the combination meets four, obviously. 
So, I'm not going to list all of the possible ideas for top for villains, but the top villains, top build villains for this game would be Darkseid for DC Comics and Thanos for Marvel Comics, respectively. I think they're pretty much on the same level, so I think they will they both work out work out very well. Um, but other plausible villains for DC Comics be like um, the Joker, Lex Luthor, Vandal Savage, Reverse Flash, Black Manta, Sinestro, Black Beetle, Human Flame, and Hot Street. Yeah, no, it's pick two enemies that use fire for DC for some reason. I, I didn't, I don't know. It just sounded good to me. Uh, <laughs> plausible villains for Marvel Comics would be Demo Goblin, because I don't, he doesn't get used much in games. Um, the Kingpin, The Abomination, Ultron, Doctor Doom, Loki, Red Skull, Arcade, who's not been in a game since Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo days, if I'm, if I'm remembering right. Uh, Mr. Sinister and Modoc. <laughs> yeah, I thought of a weird combination of villains, but I mean, it's, it, this is just concepts for who would work, not necessarily who's only going to be in there, because something like this would have to be massive. I mean, it would be huge. So there have to be a lot of villains and a lot of heroes. Just saying that off the top. Um, well, the buttons would be for, for ah, the buttons for this game would be as follows. You'd have attack one and attack two. You'd have a jump button, a defense button, for obviously for blocking attacks all around you. Uh, special but one, special two for special attacks that will use up some sort of energy gauge. Um, a team up button which you would hold and press either special one or special two to do team moves with other characters in single player. Uh, other characters, oh gosh, I, I skipped my comma. In single player, party members who can do team attacks will appear when the attack is used. In multiplayer, both players have to be holding down the team up button when one of the players initiates the attack. And then the switch button which is used when less than four player there are four less than four players to be able to swap characters being played. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I apologize for that. I'm recording this like really early morning. <laughs> so I'm yawning a little bit. Now the general idea that I have for this game and this overall story is that Dark Side and Thanos have decided to work together. Thanos is in search of the five of the Infinity Gems already having control over the Reality Gem. And Darkseid is seeking to conquer varying planets and to use the populace as slaves. For those of you who have watched Young Justice, this plot is similar to that. But in this case, you have a huge group of villains between both the DC Comics universe and the Marvel Comics universe that are working together. Though all of them have their own particular goals, they do all commonly share the desire to rid themselves of the obstacles in their way. For those who don't know, the series ended abruptly on a cliffhanger after the second season was over. But if memory serves me well, Darkseid was conquering and selling planets. I know he was trying to do that with the Earth, it just didn't get to happen because they somehow saved the heroes. Um, <clears throat> many of the inhabitants of the planets that he had conquered had become slaves. If I remember correctly, that's why I thought of the concept of this way. I, mean, I could see Thanos as the type of character to help with this type of endeavor, especially if he can, along the way, increase his own power by getting the Infinity Gems. And actually, I think it would suit him quite well, especially if we're using a Thanos whom is still looking to garner the affections of death. And this is the same death that somehow had a thing for Deadpool. But that's one thing I'm, I'm never going to understand with Marvel. I don't know how they concocted that little situation in their head, but whatever. Um, that aside... This is a situation I'd be more than happy to watch unfold. 
especially when the first wave of agents from Apocalypse, Apocalypse and those <laughs> subordinates attack the Earth that has both the Justice League and the Avengers, this would truly be an interesting situation. Obviously, both the Justice League and the Avengers would arrive at this, the scene of the initial attack and start fighting off the invading forces. At this point in time, the player would choose a side, DC or Marvel. Mar Mar I said that wrong. Marvel. <laughs> I think I said Marvel. Oh, gosh, it, was, uh, it ruined my train of thought. <laughs> this would be the only scene in the game which would force you to play as either DC or Marvel, being that it is obviously the tutorial area. And for this scene, you are stuck with the characters that the game gives you. So for DC, you get Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, and Wonder Woman. For Marvel, you get Iron Man, Captain America, Hawkeye, and Black Widow. Depending on which team you pick, the layout of the tutorial stage will be slightly different as the abilities of the, the characters vary. I uh, hate getting tongue-tied. <laughs> In single player, there will only be one character on screen and the player would have to switch between characters in order to progress by using the special abilities of each character in their party. For example... Um, <laughs> ah, crap, I said that wrong. Okay, so what I meant to say was for multiplayer, <laughs> I don't know why I said for, no, whatever, players would individually use their abilities to help the rest of the team progress, assuming there are four players. Otherwise, at least one person would have to switch characters in order to utilize the, abil the abilities of the other party members. You're always going to have four party members, no matter what. You'll just be able to swap between them if you need to. Now, after completing the first level of the game, there'd be a cutscene showing the invaders retreating and the Justice League and Avengers stopping to give thanks to each other before heading back to their respective headquarters. Within a week's time, however, the invasion effort is again brought to the Earth, and this time, multiple major cities across the planet are being attacked. The Avengers and League would both move again to take action and put a stop to these attacks. In many, and in many situations, League members and Avengers end up working together to rescue citizens and bring down inter, the, inter, ah, the intergalactic trespassers. From here on, the Justice League and Avengers would begin to coordinate their efforts together. Now, for a few missions or levels, you'd be playing with teams of Marvel and DC characters that at the moment are the only ones you can, yeah, you can play as. I'm something's wrong with me this morning. I'm like I'm off for some reason. I mean, you guys will see this here is at night, but I'm like I'm just off. Um, <laughs> this means that all of the initial characters will be used, and each has their place to has their own place to be. There would be only five li five five missions five missions like this is they're all actually taking place simultaneously though the player wouldn't see it that way obviously because from your perspective you're playing them individually one after the other you can however choose the order you play these missions in but there would be two Marvel and two DC characters for each of these missions until you have actually played with all of the 20 starting characters after you've completed all five of the missions you can choose any combinations of of characters you prefer and you would also be able to go back to finish levels with different characters to see if there are any special items you couldn't get before because you couldn't reach certain areas without specific characters and their abilities uh, that one was a mouthful there would also be a mission structure to this game having some missions be required for the flow of the story and having others that would allow you to build up your characters and earn new equipment for them some of these missions will require specific characters or be at a certain location this then ah these situations can also give you insight into the lore behind the characters though it won't be needed for the game's story to be completed you'll generally be able to instantly go to the required level with the needed characters from the mission menu 
there while there will be general purpose items others would be specific to certain characters for different stat boosts for example an example of this would be cryptid red kryptonite giving superman an increase in his strength or static getting a boost in overall power from a pocket energy generation yeah generator things of that nature um like hulk would get a boost from like a ga like getting gamma radiation or an item that is gamma radiation like if you're following me uh, mm. I would just personally like to see something like this come to fruition. As a gamer and a comic book hero fan, a game like this is something that I have dreamed of for quite a while. And a game of this magnitude would surely draw in a massive audience. I mean, it won't stop the DC vs. Marvel fanboy arguments, but it would definitely be an amazing step in the right direction. And I do apologize that I didn't really see sit down and fully like think this out like I've done with a couple others like as far as the story goes but honestly the comic book writers are probably far better for that sort of thing than I am as they know more about the characters than I do and I do hope however that what I did explain about how this game should be sounds like a decent beginning for something this huge honestly I don't think I've done it justice, but there's plenty of, as I said, combo writers could probably do far better. I mean, I could explain all of the mechanics down to a T, but that would make this video probably feel rather boring to a lot of people. So, that's it for now. Thank you guys very much for listening. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you very much for listening in. Keep your eyes and ears out for more of my stuff. And until the next time, enjoy your games, people. Peace out.